Let's focus on what the market's looking at in the first instance, which is a next generation EV platform is coming. We're coming out the back of the, the Model 3 and Y era, so output will be less in 2024 from a growth perspective. Does that worry you? Yeah, well, you said it, you know, we're really focused on the long term here at ARK Invest, which really you should be for a disruptive name like Tesla. So, you know, they, they did mention, yes, production um, growth for this coming year will be slower. Uh, you know, they, they are focused on this next generation vehicle platform and they're, they're attributing, you know, the, the part of the uh, cautiousness on production to that. And overall, that's a great thing, right? Um, you know, as well as anyone, that I'm excited about the robo-taxi opportunity. So the fact that they're building a custom uh, robo-taxi vehicle is really exciting and shows their confidence and their autonomous capability. Um, you, you know, we have uh, FSD12, their you know latest version of the autonomous technology software in the car, rolling out to customers. I, that, that, again, shows confidence in their capability. We also heard that um, Optimus might begin shipping next year. So I think you know, Tesla is this behemoth in the AI space. It's going to be one of the greatest AI opportunities of our time. And I, I think to ignore that is, is frankly wrong when thinking about the stock. So I'm excited about it. Well, the next gen vehicle platform joins the, the traditional car making side of the story with the AI story, right? What did we learn? Musk said it will be low cost that they're making progress on start of production, which will start in Texas in the first instance. But he said, take 2025 with a grain of salt. Did you learn enough during the call about the next gen platform to fully understand where we go from here on this future robo taxi concept? Yes, well, I'd say, you know, overall, I, I think Elon is a lot more cautious than he has been in the past with his forecasts. I mean, he said it on the call that he has been really optimistic with timelines. Um, and honestly, who can blame him? Because I think humans in general are pretty bad at predicting AI progress. Um, but yes, we heard that they can start production next year on the next generation vehicle platform. You know, I think there's a lot of cause for optimism in what they said around margins. So we saw automotive gross margins, X credits tick up in the quarter. Um, you know, we did hear that one, they're, they're cutting costs on a per car basis um, in, in a way that's really unprecedented in the auto industry. Um, and they also said that even though, you know, on their current vehicle platform, they're sort of reaching the limits of that cost reduction, that doesn't mean that they're done, right? Um, so we heard on the design side, um, you know, it's commodity prices, that flows through to the underlying cost of the vehicle, that takes some time. Uh, so there's still optimism there, and I think that's amazing. Um, I mean, when you look at EVs as a whole, traditional automakers are cutting back on their electric mm. vehicle platforms. I mean, that's a bad idea because EVs are already cost competitive with gas powered cars. And guess what? It's only going to get cheaper. So this is the future. And, and Tesla is the leader there. Your models. I mean, the last time it was updated, you had an expected value per share of $2,000 for Tesla by 2027, predicated on the idea of this robo taxi venture on the bull and the bear case where do you stand right now when he is saying take 2025 with a grain of salt how much do you think we will see robo taxis become in use in place revenue generating by 2027 yes yeah, so you know we're currently updating our model um look out for let's say over the next few months an updated price target from us for 2028 um, and actually, our big ideas deck, our annual research presentation on, uh, you know, the technologies that we cover as a whole is coming out soon. So that'll give you a little preview. Um, but I'd say overall, you know, um, we on autonomy, right, you think about it in the five year term. So could they be late a few quarters? Absolutely. Um, and again, uh, humans are bad at predicting AI, right? I could have told you comfortably the night before ChatGPT came out and was released to the world. The chatbots weren't that good. But guess what? It changed overnight. Um, and we already see from players like Waymo that uh, robo taxis are possible. We actually already see from Tesla that robo taxis are possible because you can watch the consumer videos online that show people that have virtually no interventions yeah. on full point to point rides. So it's just a matter of, of when. And do I think that'll happen in the next five years? Yeah. And I think we heard again some of the confidence in FSD 12, which is an important milestone for them in, in making the road to full autonomy on the call. Tasha, your thesis and ARK's thesis on the bet of Tesla is that it is inextricably linked with AI, with robotics. Yet we hear Elon Musk threatening to take those two key things, that innovation elsewhere, 
if he doesn't get the 25% voting control that he wants in the company, are you worried by that threat? I, I think that's really overblown, the fear about that. I mean, one, um, we are uh, very happy to have Elon Musk be incentivized uh, to change the world. I mean, this man is uh, clearly capable of amazing things when it comes to robotics and AI. Uh, so we want his incentives to be aligned with the, the future of Tesla. Um, also, you know, Tesla's been investing in this for, you know, the past decade or so. Uh, they are years ahead of the competition when it comes to AI. To give you an example, um, currently Tesla vehicles are able to access over 2 million miles per day um, driven in full self-driving from customers. So that's very important training data that you need to make a fully autonomous car. Um, you know, Waymo, uh, in, in the course of the lifetime of the project, has single digit millions worth of driving data. Uh, so this is, you know, Tesla is so much further ahead when it comes to scale on AI already. Um, and again, I, I'm really excited for this coming year. Um, Optimus, we think could be, uh, you know, general purpose robots could be roughly a $10 trillion uh, market alone in manufacturing. Um, even more when you look to say like household tasks, which could be further down the line. Um, so there's so many exciting things things ahead for Tesla. So I think the focus on, you know, demand production in the short term is really just that. It's short term focus when you want to be long term focused with this name.